In this video, I'm going to explain the proof of theorem 9.7, also known as alternate segment. The question or the theorem says that the angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it on the remaining part of the circle. So for that, you have to draw three circles first. Let's say I've drawn three circles, say one, this is two, and say this is three. And then you are going to take three arc here. I mean to say that we I'm taking this arc. In the first case, I'm taking PQ as a minor arc. In the second case, I'm taking PQ as the diameter or say semicircle, not diameter. And then in the next case, I'm going to take PQ as the major arc. Now let's uh, highlight in what I mean to say. This is the minor arc. And I'm talking about this semicircle in the second figure and the major arc PQ in the third case. Now, after that, you should take a point on the alternate segment. That means in case of minor, it is the major. In case of major, it is the minor. And then uh, we need to take the center, say as uh, center as O in each case. O being the center in each case. And uh, we need to join this point P with A so as to subtend an angle, right? P with Q. These are the angles subtended by an arc. And we need to also join with the center and mark these lines. This point as C. I took a point as B joining with the center. So construction is this. We need to join with the center as well. So joining with the center, this point, this being the diameter. Now I'm going to mark these angles. Say this, I'm writing angle one, this is two, say three and four. So this being five and six. Well, this is the case one, this is case two, and this is case three. Well, what we need to prove here is the proof part. Now, the two proof is we have to prove angle POQ. That is the angle subtended by an arc at the center will be twice the angle subtended by it on the remaining part of the circle, that is PAQ. Now, I'll start the proof part. In the proof, first of all, I'm going to use isosceles property in triangle. P, say A, O, P. In this triangle, as you can see here, that is, uh, we have the radii, that is, O, A is equal to O, P. So, you can write angle 1 is equal to angle 2. And similarly, in triangle, this is A, O, Q, we can write similarly, right? Angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Now, this is the first part of the working. Then we can also see that uh, <clears throat> this angle 5 is an exterior angle, right? We need to see that uh, this 5 is an exterior angle of this triangle. The triangle I by that means to say this one. You can see that. So this is an exterior angle. Angle 5 is an exterior angle. So I can say that angle 5, that's uh, the measurement of angle 5 here, will be equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 and uh, we can say angle 6 by same applying exterior angle property over here I can say angle 6 is equal to angle 3 plus angle 4. Now what we can uh, get if I add this I'll get angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4. Now, as you can see here that uh, we have proved 1 is equal to 2 and 3 is equal to 4. So what I can do, I can replace 2 with 1, right? So this is angle 1 plus angle 1. And similarly, I can replace angle 4 with angle 3. So what do we get here? That is uh, 
And further, you can see that angle 5 plus angle 6 will give you this angle that is angle POQ. So this is angle POQ. This is twice of angle 1 and this is twice of angle 3. If I take two common, I get angle 1 plus. If I take two common, I'll get this as angle 1 plus angle 3. So this is POQ. Now what you can see here that this angle that is uh, angle 1 plus 3, right, can be replaced with angle PAQ. So I'll do the working the here, right, say from here I'll extending. This is angle POQ is equal to, this is twice and I'm replacing 1 plus 3 with angle PAQ. So this is what we need to prove. But we have uh, one more thing to mention that for this figure, for the third figure, right, for case three, it's instead of POQ, right, we have reflex angle POQ. As you can see, it's a major arc. So we'll say simply that reflex angle POQ is equal to twice angle PAQ. This is important to mention that uh, in the third uh, figure, we have not POQ, it's a reflex angle POQ. You have to remember that POQ is a reflex angle in this case, right? The rest will be as it is, that is twice angle PAQ. So this is how we will prove this theorem.